So I'm making this video kind of an emergency. I was uh, just looking at the box 25 and I seen that there was something written under the barrel and so I just wanted to check it out. I posted a video just a bit ago talking about how this threaded muzzle device had come a little bit loose on me and so I was checking on it and I realized that the threaded sleeve was stuck in here. I also realized that the handguard had come a little bit loose, so I checked this um, this heat shield here. I just tight, it's actually super tight. I checked this heat shield and um, it was slightly loose. Not loose, but it had come slightly undone, so there was a slight bit of play where it wasn't ready to fall off or anything. But you can watch the other video. I talk about that a little bit more, or whatever. So this video, I took this off. And I took this off. And then I was like, wow, look at this barrel. It's actually like almost a pistol barrel. So I wanted to see a little bit more because there's contour to it. And I seen here, Citadel Boss, 25, 12 gauge, three inch chamber, made in Turkey by uh, Frank Collins, Frank Collin Arms. And the people who are dealing with it here in the States, uh, Legacy Sports, Reno, Nevada. So, barrel feels great, super nice. And so I'm like, oh, well, so let me just get in there a little bit further and take off the handguard. And see what these actual components look like underneath because I haven't done that yet. I can't tell you how happy I am. So I slide the handguard off and I'm like, wow, that's nice. And I'm like, wow, look at this barrel, even more contours to it. Like, wow, that's so beautiful. So I'm like, I want to see exactly how the gas system operates because there's no gas tubing, right? So I'm like, what's going on here? How does it work? This spring is here, so this must move. It goes in here, obviously, common sense. So I start to think like, oh, well, here we go. Common sense, this is how it works. And as I did that, I realized how loose this nut was. So I undid it and I tightened it just by hand a second ago. So I undid it to investigate a little bit further. Then I realized how the gas system works. There's actually ports here which feed into this, which is almost like your key, right? And then it automatically propels this backwards. So you see why it's so important. And it's already quite dirty in here. I'm gonna give it a little spray so we can see it, sorry, excuse me. And so, one thing to note, there are these little keys that fit in here. Sorry, it seems I'm getting the hiccups. These keys, so uh, don't let those fall out and bounce and drop anywhere, and you end up losing them. Anyway, so, um, let's just take this out. So this was super loose. That means that gas was getting out of there. If you just watched the last video, I was talking about it not cycling properly with the lower ammo. I wonder if it has anything to do with this not being tight and gas was being released because this whole thing here is totally corroded with carbon. That means that gas might have been seeping through and not going in there properly. Ugh. I have this spring. Here we go. Get some of the almighty CLP. And some good old paper towel. Regular paper towel. CLP. I don't care. I'm not one of these rubber glove people. But look how good that works. Instantly already coming off. So yeah, good stuff. Only a couple bucks a can. Readily available in most places. So look at all that carbon. 
like I said, there's probably been like, I don't know, maybe 25 rounds put through here. So, not a whole lot. And so, I am going to put those back in there. Those little keys, they just fit right in there. Slide that collar back over and you can thread that back up. So, the reason for this video, for the third time I'm saying that probably, is you have to do this. If you're an owner of this shotgun, go through, take this handguard off, tighten this threaded nut down. And most important, you would not believe how loose this barrel nut was. It was like not even on there. It was just like if it wasn't for the tension of the spring, it would have well been on. So unfortunately, I don't have the right tool for this. But this came with um, a different handguard. So I went ahead and just made it fit in there and gave it a little down and there you go another crank down and so she's way tighter than she was before I'm gonna have to put it on a torque you should probably torque it down like most other bolt nuts and this is not my I'm not telling you this is what you have to do other bolt nuts recommend the 30 to 50 so uh, crank that baby down get it cranked down on there Make sure it's nice and tight. Go through, tighten this gas key nut, and uh, this whole thing, it will all move. So you can't tighten it too much, and you probably don't want to mar that up or anything. So uh, it looks like it's just a hand tighten type thing. Super easy to take this thing apart and clean it. It's a great design, this shotgun. When I seen this barrel alone, I was like, oh, look at that, that's great. This handguard, super nice. All of this, these mechanisms in here, all great. The welds along here, super nice little welds. Yeah, that's great. Definitely winner, winner, chicken dinner on this rig. But I can't. <clears throat> emphasize enough how important it is that you go through here and do this. You do not want this thing coming apart. I don't know what uh, kind of damage it'll do if that barrel ends up coming off loose enough to do something or if that's even possible, but uh, all I know is that's a lot of power and I wouldn't want that to blast at me. So, quick little informative demonstration, warning, caution, whatever you want to call it. That's what this video is. So, once again, if you find this good, share it with all your friends that have Citadel bosses. It's important that they know this. Um, it's a great rifle, but obviously it requires a little bit of uh, a tune-up upon purchase or after the first few shots. Make sure everything's snug down. Make sure everything's good to go. And always be safe. Protect your rights. Protect the Second Amendment. Follow your heart, not the herd. Make boom boom out. Peace.